Welcome to the Redbeard Show here on Bot TV. We are live from Arts Wells Festival today. We've got a nice uh, little acoustic band playing in the background called the Rossi Gang. We've got live music and art all around us here at this festival. It's a lot of fun. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I want to thank my sponsors, Vancouver Seed Bank. As always, if you need seeds, especially cannabis, the best cannabis in the world can be found at VancouverSeedBank.ca. I want to thank my uh, medicinal sponsors. I want to thank Kind Selections and Prairie Mountain Lifestyles and Beard Brothers Society for sending me such good cannabis in the mail. If you're a registered patient in Canada, you can get cannabis in the mail too. Just get registered with those companies. That's Kind Selections, Prairie Mountain Lifestyles and Beard Brothers Society. I also want to thank Dirty Dave for this awesome t-shirt. The guy that supports my wardrobe, that's Dirty Dave Limited in the Lower Mainland, supporting lo local artists as well. And of course, I want to thank Remo Nutrients. That's who provides me the food to grow my cannabis. This is, of course, a glass blowing show on the Cannabis Network. We are an educational cannabis show. If you've got any questions about cannabis, I'd be glad to answer them. Or a glass. I also want to thank Aim Kills, another sponsor, and last but not least, my beer sponsor. Got to have a beer sponsor, and that's 12 Kings Pub in Vancouver. So I'm a different form of an artist. Not only do I make art, but I'm a sponsored artist. So it's a different uh, way of making a living that I've discovered, and it sure is working. Cheers to all of y'all. So today we're building some fun stuff. Uh, let me show you what we've got in the works. I've got the Arts Wells bong half built. And that's this bong here. It features a triple bitch window on the bottom. It's a funny name, isn't it? But it's uh, that's what it's called, the triple bitch window. It's three different spirals popped into one different spiral. So that's the bottom of the piece. It's a healthy size. It's got to be 12 inches tall. And uh, I just thought I'd get away from that and make a couple wine glasses. So. Uh, I finished one of these glasses already. I was just starting another one. Let me show you what the glass looks like. There's a little wine glass. It's still hot to the touch, so I'm not going to grab it. But let me show you how we make one of these real quick, shall we? We haven't done one of these on the show before. So first I'll start with the... Uh, I guess I need a little piece of color in the bottom of that. So I'm going to put this away. I already sectioned off a little piece of color, so I'm just going to take this and twist it up in the fire. And uh, we'll put this little color piece in the bottom of the goblet. So Jan, can you tell me if the camera's working and if it sounds good? Maybe if you're watching in the chat room, you can tell us if the sound's working. This is the Redbeard Show. We're live on the internet now, broadcasting around the world. You can see my show on YouTube. We're on, I think, the 80th episode. It's been a lot of fun doing this. Just need a little handle here. So we'll punt you up to this little prep and we'll give it a spin. It's really windy here today. Mrs. Beard pointed out, pointed out I've already lost all the hair off the front of here. <laughs> so far the beard's safe. Hope you're all Say a prayer for the beard. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a quick twist, heat it up, and twist it in one direction. It's kind of a matching uh, piece for the for the bong. So just gonna get that bubble hot. Give it a twist like so. Give that another pop. Oh, there's Glenn Clark, last year's award-winning uh, artist from Penticton. We're live on camera here, Glenn. You'll have to come in and say hi later. Okay, so just giving this a twist, tighten up the swirl in the end here. That's the part that's really visible. This will be at the bottom of the cup. So we'll just get that a nice little termination. colors I'm working with today is uh, right here in front of me, orange down the center. It looks red in the flame, but that's an orange. Mai Tai, Triple Passion, and then a streak of black. Okay, so that's the color bit that'll go in the bottom of the cup. That's all I need for that. Just need another handle here. So 
I'll take this and set it in the kiln for a minute, and then we'll make a cup to put it into. <laughs> ball is going to go on the goblet top but just at the base of the cup. So this can go in the kiln for a minute. Pull out the top here. Let's make the top of this wine glass. Drink. That's right, 12 Kings Pub in Vancouver. They're located at 12th and Kingsway if you ever want to stop in. You can ask for the rec Red Beard recommendation. Recommendation. It's usually an India, India Pale Ale. I like the strong beer. Okay, so to make this cup, it's basically a round, slightly oblong bubble. But it's quite a bit wider than this. And this is quite a bit thicker than I need it. So let's heat it up and blow it out a little. This wind is a knuckle burner, I tell you. I'm just gonna try to evenly heat up the whole thing. If I have any, if I heat, if I don't heat it evenly, the bubble won't blow out even. So I'm going to try to avoid hot spots, nice regular turning. Singed all the hair off my arm Okay, so I can pop a hole in the end of this now. And let's stick that little color ball we made on the end there. Uh oh, here comes trouble. It's like a parade. They probably got into that marijuana stuff. <laughs> So I don't need this handle anymore, we can get rid of that, just work with the one side. So now I just want to get that bubble down into the bottom of this bubble. So it's a matter of working with gravity and the heat, getting it to move where we want it to. Thank you. 
the other side and open it up. This is going to be the part where we drink from. generally how I do it. Carefully turn it till it opens itself up. Good enough. Let's put this in the kiln and I can work on the middle and the bottom. It's all going to happen on a pretty timely uh, fashion here or a piece of break and it doesn't work out. So as I mentioned, this is uh, a show on the Pot TV network. It is a cannabis friendly show and I am a registered cannabis user so I'm just going to take a minute and have a little safety break. <laughs> <laughs> this is my medicine, uh, helps my arthritis and my stomach issues as well as a happy side effect of being more creative. <laughs> Are you allowed to share? Afraid not. Unless you have a license, sir. So, is it 420 yet, Jan? 416, so I'm a little early on that note, but... At 4.30, we give away seeds in the chat room. So if you're watching this show on YouTube or live, and next week you want to win some free cannabis seeds, just hop into my live show chat room and we'll give them away every week. Right now I'm smoking some God's Green Crack. Fun name for a fun strain. It's very delicious. Okay, so I think I'll just keep going for the goblet, but I'm gonna need a very small prep. And it needs to be short 
and squat. So I'll just start off with this tube and I'll pull a little piece off. So I'll just need another point here. points is what a lot of apprentices start doing for the first year of their work in the old days. And it's simply doing it a lot shorter and a lot squatter. And that's going to give me the shape I want to start with. So again, I'll need one of these uh, handles. Put that on centered first. Now I'll just make change the shape of the bubble slightly. So this is the goblet foot. It's a flat goblet foot. taught to me by uh, American glass master Robert Nicholson. Yeah. So just heating up the center of the bubble I'll, as I pop, I'll push my hands together so I giving me a nice squat bubble like this. Next, I'll just take my punty side, that's my solid side. I'm just going to clean that up because that's going to be my permanent side. I'm just taking a second to make this side nice and perfect because it's the side you're going to really see. Once that stiffens up, I can remove the other handle. And then we'll open it up to be a goblet foot. And 
in a little stripe of ninja black. Now I'm gonna twist all those up, and I'll just grab it with this claw holder to do that. Let's heat this up, give it a twist. You guys all having fun here at Arts Wells? Yeah. Killer festival, eh? Great. I was trying to tell more people to get up here. It's almost nice they didn't all come though, isn't it? <laughs> so nice here. All right, well that's just like that. We'll stick it together and just keep soaking the heat in to really push it together. shape until it hardens up. It's still soft now. So that's how we make a goblet in a parking lot at a festival. Cheers, thank you. So let's get this in the kiln. I think it's time for a quick safety break again. And then it's time to get back onto the Arts Wells bomb. Show you what that looks like. I've been working on it all day. Give you a little sneak preview. So this is the piece I've been working on all morning. Pretty big for built in a parking lot. So that all I have to do still for this piece is uh, a connection here where we'll put the downspout and the bowl. And then I opposite side I thought I'd do a nice attachment like maybe a horn or something. So maybe we'll do the horn attachment next so it's while it's still a sealed vessel that way I can puff through it and uh, just light this back up. What's that? Thanks I got it from Dirty Dave. He's my shirt sponsor. Plant manager. Thanks Dirty Dave. If you want a shirt like this, you can get it at Mark Emery's Cannabis Culture Headquarters in Vancouver. They also do mail order. And I've also got some Redbeard Glass t-shirts here. My lovely partner, we call her Mrs. Beard, her name's Jen. She, makes, uh, she made the design for those. She's called Mrs. Beard in the chat room. Maybe not by choice. All right, so let's start on this attachment. I think I'll use a nice big piece of rod for this. Maybe some of uh, this size is maybe a bit more manageable. And I'm going to uh, take some streaks of color and I'll put it on that rod, much like I did on the goblet. But then I'm going to sandwich it in between the two layers of clear and we'll make a nice ribbon out of it. 
So that's the plan. Let's see what happens. It doesn't always come out with the plan. Sometimes you burn your hair off. So I better put this color on a longer handle. I'm gonna burn my knuckles. And that sticker there should generally just that uh, Mai Tai color, I think. Yeah. I'm just going to lay it on pretty thick. Put the orange in the middle and then that persimmon striped on the other side. So I'm just going to do the three colors, just kind of all sandwiched on top of each other. Colors layered up. You can make this into a ribbon. Straighten that out a bit. Okay, so all I'm going to do is fold this in, in half. Bank giving away seeds right now. Good people down at Vancouver Seed Bank. That's where I get all my cannabis genetics. They do mail order. We'll ship anywhere, even up to Wells, BC. Although I don't think there's enough growing season up here to do much. We've also got heirloom vegetables and tobacco if you're into that stuff. I'm just going to grab a different handle, this one here, put it on this side. <laughs> now we can take this off over here. Got a twist. Do 
good twist. And we'll try not to get any air involved. Well, that means we gotta get it nice and hot. tricky with this wind because it's forcing me to keep the glass closer to the torch face but closer to the torch face the color wants to bubble so it's a challenging uh, it's a challenging melt here we'll slowly start giving this a twist then Ow. and that'll trap the color inside giving it a ribbon effect Keep working our way down, trying not to burn our knuckles or our facial hair. So get this nice and hot. So now I've got the, it twisted, I can just continue to tighten the twist and I'll shape the horn now. I'm going to make it wider at one side, tapering down to the other side. And then we'll stick this on the side of that giant bong we're making. See if we can't finish it off. are made of graphite so they don't stick to the glass and they're not affected by the heat. the horn now, just want to give it a slight curve. Just like that. Just gradual tape. 
taper and a nice gradual curve. Okay, I think I can take it off the other handle now. This side. Stick it on there. to stick this to the bong. Maybe we get her, better get that bong out here and have a look. Alright, let's get some of the piece we've been working on today. I'm just going to put this on here somewhere, giving it a nice handle. just reminded me how thin it is. I gotta be careful. It's hard to see how soft the glass gets in the sunlight. I usually work in a darker room. It's really difficult to read the heat levels. Oh, stick it on there like that. Pull off. just want to line that up straight again so I'll get the end of the horn a little soft tag it and give it a little taper When you put any attachment on, you've got to make sure that connection's on properly and smoothly. So this is where I've got to just take a minute and go around the base of this horn and make sure it's worked in smooth. Acute angles can result in cracks, so that's what I'm polishing out. Alright, 
got it for now. Let's get it back in the kiln. Let it soak for a bit again. Okay. Ooh, it's 442. And I'm hot. Cheers. Well, I think the last thing I gotta do for this piece is the female joint that's gonna put it all together and finish it off. So I'll just kind of do that piece and then we'll call this show and let's call the finish. So, we'll start off with one of these preps again. We'll just give it a one-way twist, much like the rest of the pieces we built on. Thank goodness for vapor pens. That's how I get my medicine on the go. I'm smoking some nice white lightning in the vapor pen. It's just beautiful. Thanks to Beard Brothers. Beard Brothers Society. Best extracts in Canada, I'd say. All right. Let me give this thing a swirl. Just twisting it in one direction. Like so. make this part of the bubble wider so that my tool doesn't run into it when I push the tool in to make this uh, 18 millimeter joint. So we'll just open a hole here and I'll show you what I mean. the holes clean. It's really important to start with a centered hole in this. In almost every application. So I've got these shears and I'll just go ahead and snip this hole open. in the shape I want and then I'll take my octagonal reamer and that'll shape it precisely for me. So this is the tool I speak of. It's an 18, 18 millimeter uh, Octagonal reamer joint forming tool. And all it takes is a quick plunge of this tool and you've got the right size. Just like that. One last thing I usually do is double check it by just taking a minute to plunge a male factory joint inside just to make sure that it's the right it's a little too far actually and that's why I double check it I've reamed it a little too far so I'll just come in slightly like that so just 
just got to tool it one more time. Okay, double check. Perfect. So, and actually, I can go ahead and get this ready. We're going to stick it on the bong and finish this piece. So you really got to warm up this tool. I got to make sure this is soft, or not soft, it's that it's cooled down all the way. It's so bright out here, I can't tell. I'm just going to give it a sec. Alright, should do it. Uh -oh. Houston, I have a problem. So my uh, tool is hitting the back here. I'll have to bring it down just slightly more. Maybe I'll have to use a glass joint to hold it one to apply. <laughs> so we'll just ream it down a little bit more. Make sure this cool down or it might crack putting it into the graphite tool. Alright, that should be ready. Okay, so let's put this, get it ready for the bomb. So just gotta remove this handle. end open. Okay, we just got to get a hole ready for that. Just opposite of the horn. Last thing I'm going to do is just dent in the glass right above that uh, attachment joint, and that just gives me a good angle for polishing that. Yeah. Right there. It's an old school bong maker's trick for achieving the right angle. Alright, let's get that piece on there. I just got to polish around the base of that attachment to make sure it's smooth.
Looks good. Last thing I have to do is just remove the handle here. Probably clean up the end of this a little better. Clean the end of this horn up a bit. Not quite even. These are the goblets I made earlier. So, that's it for my live demonstration for now. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this type of thing, I've got a show on, uh, we're actually recording right now, on, uh, it's called The Red Beard Show on Pot TV. Tune in, we're every Saturday at 4 p.m. And there's 80 episodes on YouTube right now. So, thanks again for coming to Arts Wells Festival. Have a great, safe time. No hero doses. Do that in your own living room. Play safe. And I want to thank my sponsors again, Vancouver Seed Bank. .ca for all your cannabis seed needs. I want to thank Kind Selections, Prairie Mountain Lifestyles, and of course Beard Brothers Society for sending me such amazing medicine in the mail. If you're a registered licensed cannabis user, you can get that in the mail as well. Just get registered. I want to thank Dirty Dave Limited for my shirts. Get yours downtown Vancouver at Mark Emery store. I want to thank Remo Nutrients for providing me the food for my cannabis plants. And I want to thank Aim Kilns and, of course, my beer sponsor, 12 Kings Pub in Vancouver. Cheers, y'all. Have a good week. We'll see you next week. Woo! Be safe. Hit the big red button.